UFC Heavyweight Showdown. strikers in this division sprawl and brawl whatever you want to say he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight it does not matter how he accomplishes it all he wants to do is be on his feet and at range hitting you with the beautiful jab staying away from the grappling exchanges you don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance he has great distance management which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks spinning back kick jumping high kick so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight yeah if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight so, most people so, believe yeah his opponent is in a so, world of JK. trouble well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponent. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out United Center in Chicago, Illinois. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 206 pounds. The Executioner. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 156 pounds. Fighting out of Havana, Cuba, the Buzzsaw! You've been given your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it clear. So two truly elite strikers here. We sat down with them on Thursday and asked them, any thoughts of taking this fight to the ground? They want to strike. They want to strike. That's what got them to the show. That is the path that they are normally on. And tonight they get someone that allows them to fight in their comfort zone. They don't have to worry about defending takedowns. All they have to worry about is who can rely on their knowledge in the striking to carry them to victory. And they are exchanging leather early. All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. What a punch. Oh, he connects with another uppercut. He's landed a few big ones so far. Here. That is his best punch. He finds it from so many different positions, and he can find that uppercut from both sides of the body. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Oh, and he is getting tagged repeatedly. Nice combination of strikes up top. Oh, beautiful combination up top. I don't understand why the guy is not moving his head. Get your head moving, son. Oh, Superman punch. Not always easy to execute. He did so there. 
All right, single collar tie now. Big ball from Punch Land. Now he gets back to range. A oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all incoming strikes. Oh, single collar tie here. Now he counters with a right hook to the head. So he lands another counter strike there, all set up by his brilliant job defensively, getting that head off of the center line and using his opponent's aggression against them. Nicely done. Just over three minutes to go. Punch is blocked. Oh, nice combination of strikes there in terms of the accuracy. I mean, that's exactly what a coach is looking for. That's exactly. It's like the guy is hitting pads. It's like he's hitting focus mitts, but instead, he's dancing all over his opponent's face. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Oh, collar tie. And both guys really throwing with authority. Nice job with that follow-up shot as well. Ooh-wee! Ooh-wee, what a right hand by this young man. And he landed the right hand there. That's a big strike right there. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Well, he has really put his opponent on the defensive here early. Very aggressive right out of the shoot. He has landed a high number of total strikes. Exactly the aggression you'd like to see, given what is at stake here tonight. All combination of lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. Beautiful strike. Blocks the shot. Nice shot to the body. Oh, beautiful one-two punch. <laughs> Slips the punch. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Another shot lands upstairs. Nice punch lands. If this guy doesn't move his head, his night is about to end. Punch coming, it's blocked. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Lands the overhand punch to the head. Another one, yep. Up oh, in the left hand. Nice straight punch. Oh, Superman punch. Single collar tie now. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Right punches there. That was an elite elbow. Oh, so he's mixing oh. everything up. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. You ready to fight? Ready. Second round here. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Nice strike. Well, he continues to stay busy. What do they say, DC? Punches in bunches? Punches in bunches. He's landing them upside his opponent's head over and over again. He loaded up on that right hand, too. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. And he connects.
strikes there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. And now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch, and I think a lot of people watching wonder how you can control an opponent like that. Hard to get out of. It's very difficult to get out of. Look and notice how tight his elbows are as he's maneuvering and moving his opponent into positions where he can get off the strikes. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. Oh, how did he eat that uppercut? Uppercut is there again. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. He just continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Oh, that's a nice strike. Oh, nice. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Goes upstairs for an elbow. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Well, if you like Muay Thai striking, this might be your moment in this fight as he gets the tie clinch. This is a massive moment for this fighter. He is a great Muay Thai fighter. Look for him to go knee-knee and then try to land a big one to the head. Nice loop and punch. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Got the single collar tie. Obvious redness on the right side of his body. Right hand. Not there. All right, single collar tie now. Right hand punches the clinch. Big punch land through the middle. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the field. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Oh, an educated jab there. I could watch this dude jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet, and when he pops that jab, it comes right back to his face. That is when you have to be throwing more kicks. That's the only way to catch someone that you're actually having to chase the whole time. Rips the body there. Big punch lands. Ooh. Right hand on point. Both fighters throwing heat now. Huge block there. Oh, nice jab by him there, and I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping him in his tracks. He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. Big punch to the body. All right, some really grueling work here in the clinch. Both fighters really struggling to gain a dominant position. That happens whenever you understand the position. Both know exactly what they need to do. And when both fighters are trying to do the same thing, it's very, very difficult to get the desired result. Nice one-two there. His opponent's got him in the clinch. He needs to break away and get back to his range because he's taking punch after punch from his clinch position. Ooh. Oh, and he got tagged by that combination. His coach said on Thursday to us, it has to be punches and punches. It has to be volume. And his student certainly followed up on that attack. So much volume, but the accuracy, the accuracy of this fighter is truly unbelievable. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Nice punch lands over the top. Slips. And that one certainly found the target. Hey, stop. Put the pressure on Don't give him an opportunity. All right, no telestrator for DC tonight, but we'll get you some replays. And if you like face punching, that was a good round. Yeah, where's my telestrator, man? I want to draw. This action. But yeah, John, you're right. It was the striking, it was the punches that really did allow him to take control of this round. You ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. Good. 
shot to the body is blocked. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Oh, single collar tie here. Those punches to the body are really starting to take its toll. Oh, Superman punch is good. You can tell he's been working on that. Oh, collar tie. Good punch lands. Trying to establish that jab once again. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in box class, hands up, chin down. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. That's a great punch. Does a lot of damage when you can hit him in the body that clean. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect, so fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land anywhere. Well, he has certainly kept the punch counters busy tonight. He's landed a ton of significant strikes and clearly is winning this fight tonight. He's winning this fight going away, and it's one of those rare instances where everything comes together. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. He blocks the shot. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Boy, Thai Park. Great punch. Oh, big Superman punch there. All right, so again, we find ourselves here in the clinch where there are obviously no shortage of subtleties and nuances, a lot of motions in here that maybe are lost on the cat. Now the uppercuts are coming. He better start moving. He cannot stand here and eat these uppercuts. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combat. Oh, nice job to defend the takedown and scramble to his feet. That one snuck in. Nice strike. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Oh, I love the jab. I know you love the jab. That was a nice one. It's my favorite punch in all the fight. Oh, nice jab. And he landed a nice hook shot there, DC. He landed the hook exactly where he needed it to be and threw it with ill intent. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Single collar tie now. Nice stick to the body. Way to make something. Now some uppercuts. He better move, John. He cannot take these uppercuts from this position. Stuff the takedown, no problem. And they separate. And a nice stiff jab there. Timing the shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. Oh, lands another beautiful strike to the body, really starting to connect at will when it comes to work in the body, and especially effective doing it later in this fight. Didn't see a lot of that from him in the earlier rounds. Engages in the single collar tie. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Well, the body work starting to take its toll. Look at the redness starting to appear on his left side. Ooh, big shot lands. Back and forth we go. And he missed with that jab attempt there. Back to the quick position. This is where he has done a ton of good work here. Punch, punch, punch to the head from the clinch. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Left hand punches the clinch. Oh, he found the target there. That'll work. Beautiful shot there with the hook. I'm not sure his opponent saw that one coming. His opponent is taking straight punch. He's hooking right around the guard to land and land efficiently. 
Well, what a round it was. Daniel Cormier, you were one of the greatest mixed martial arts athletes of all time. I'm not sure you can do a Superman punch like that, though. With my luck, I would try to push off, and my foot would be slippery, wet <laughs> or something. I would fall right into a knee. No, I would not try that. I don't have that ability. I'm not that free inside the octagon. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to laud the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10-plus minutes of fight. Ooh, blocks the shot. Oh, big punch land. Now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Boy, Ty Plum. In the clinch. Big body punch, digging his entire hip into every single strike. Now he's got the Muay Thai Plum. Nice one-two combination there. Oh, huge Superman punch. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. How good is that right hand? Spinning back fist. Oh, slips to avoid the right. Pretty good right hand. Battling for hooks. Body shot after body shot. He keeps landing these strikes, really zapping the gas of his opponent. Again, they will clinch. Got clip with the right hand. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. Right hand punch from the clinch. Oh, beautifully timed on the overhand right counter. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Big punch from the clinch. And they set. Nice job defensively there as he keeps his hands up, not just protecting his face, but also what is a pretty significant thing. You cannot allow that to get hit anymore, right? Because the more it starts to split, then the blood starts to go into the eye. It not only is damaging in terms of the physical appearance of the gun, but the blood going into the eye almost completely shuts down that side of your face. Good spin. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Lance with the right hand. Oh, perfect timing on the Superman punch. Slips that left hand. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Got that to the target quickly. He's dictating the fight with a jab. I mean, he hasn't thrown one leg kick this whole time. Nice one-two there. Getting back fist is there. Great punch landed with so much power. Oh, huge block. Nice shot to the body there. Seconds now to go in the round. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Ooh, what a punch. The combination lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. I mean, that right hand lands square. All right, single collar tie now. Right hand punch to the clinch. Spinning back fist. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. How about it? Nice. Oh, great head movement there. Slips his head off the center line, and defensively, that's exactly what you look for. It's almost like it's a telegraph when the punch is coming. And when he sees it, he just makes a slight little movement, right or left, to get out of the way to avoid those shots. Lands flush with that right hand. Elbow. Oh, 
Oh, and a nice jab by him there, and that's gonna give his opponent some problems if that keeps landing. He's having a tough time getting his offense going because that jab is just stopping him every time. Oh, single collar tie here. Well, he continues to stay busy, and he continues to land with volume punches. I mean, volume, but he's not wasting anything. He's so accurate out there. Oh, collar tie. 20 minutes down, potentially five to go. All right, there's the end of the round, and you've got to be in a serious flow to not just execute that Superman punch, but to even attempt it. To even try it, you've got to be really in your rhythm. Everything has to be going perfectly, as we saw in the lead up to that attack. All right, here we go with our next round, DC. Pretty good game plan in the previous round. Attack the body to great effect, and we'll look to continue to do so. He has done a great job of making the investment. The investment to the body that may not pay dividends early, but as the fight goes long, you will see it start to pay itself out. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Just missed with the left there. And they separate. Beautiful punch. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Oh, now he's got the tie plumb, Daniel. If you're on the other side, what are you trying to do to get out of this potentially dangerous position? You got to start digging your shoulder to a side and then try to shove an underhook. You cannot bend down to try to get out of Muay Thai clinch. Battle for position here. Punch over the top. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to throw counters after blocking shots. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Head off the center line, slips the puck. Punch lands over the top. Oh, and he lands another punch there, and you can tell at this point he is going right at that cut on his opponent. Right at the cut on the eye, just making sure he knows that I'm going to be targeting him. Keep your hands up, and when the hands go up, he will then change the target down low, trying to find finishes. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. All right, it's late in the fight now. I don't need to be a judge to tell you that he is clearly losing. What is a fighter's mentality when you know you need a finish or you're getting an L? This is when you got to go to the Nate Diaz mentality. Kill or be killed. You got to do everything at your opponent because if this thing goes to the judges, you are not going to win this fight. Oh, and now the underhook, DC. He's got the underhook. He's got the far side post. If you're the opponent, you have got to get out of here. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Good series of punches by him there. He has certainly had no trouble finding the range tonight. He is finding the target with everything he throws. He's mixing it up beautifully. the punch. Single collar tie now. Oh, just missed on the overhand right. Oh, nice right hand. Oh, now gets an underhook to get a more dominant position. Nice punch. Here. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Throws the right hand there. And they clinch once again. Connects with a right. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Just misses with that one. 
Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Straight punch land. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. Nice right now. Marty closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. He changes the angle, finds the right spot to land that punch to the head from the clinch. 30 seconds now to go in the fight. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Now connects with a right. Some nice back and forth action here. Nice right hand. Uppercuts and bunches. We don't say that all the time, but that has certainly been a big part of the narrative in this one. Hands on the feet, his opponent is in a lot of trouble now. That was Kenny Velasquez, a punch of choice. Every time he landed, he landed with that overhand right. He hurt people bad. And this guy has his opponent hurt very badly again. What else can you say but what a fight? All right, let's look back at some of the action, DC. They go the distance tonight, but you got to think he won over the judges with his striking acumen tonight. Yeah, you got to watch one of the best strikers in the entire UFC. He did everything so well, and in my opinion, he should cruise to a very easy decision. All right, the official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 50-45. For the winner, by unanimous decision, the buzz. Well, he did not get the finish that he certainly prioritized when we sat down with him in our fighter meeting, but a win is a win. He gets it done by unanimous decision. And he said he wanted to finish, but sometimes your opponent's not willing to play the game. In those instances, all you can do is control what you can control.